Hi guys, welcome. It's been a while, it has been a while. I just thought I'd hop on um, and put this video out there. This is gonna be completely unedited because I wanna get straight to the point. I'm well aware that I haven't really been posting a lot on YouTube. And the main reason is because I, I've got a lot going on at med school, like we've got exams coming up and stuff like that. And I've been trying to balance, you know, having this channel with revision and, and stuff like that. And it's, it's been difficult, but I really enjoy making videos. And from my MMI series, lots of you have actually, you know, reached out to me and we had a few practice MMI um, sessions and it was incredible. I met some amazing people. You guys are, you're, you guys are gonna smash it. Some of you have even got your offers already, which in which case, you know, congratulations. And those of you who have your interviews coming up, all the best and you know from the practice that we did I could tell that you guys had watched my videos and it was it was really amazing um, I just want to kind of like express my gratitude on here because I I don't know I I kind of uploaded videos just because I knew I wanted to help people but when people actually started reaching out to me um, via email and we had a few practice ones I was like wow okay like people are actually benefiting from my videos um, and I, I could tell from the positive comments as well that it was helping, but it just, I just thought I'd, I don't know, I'd make a video on that. But I also wanted to talk a little bit about exams um, and stress generally. I wanted to um, hop on here and say, if it's exam season for you right now, um, and you're stressed and anxious like we all are, I just want to let you know that it's going to be fine. It's gonna be completely fine. We're gonna get through it. And right now it might seem that it's, you know, one of the most stressful times of our lives, whether it's because you're applying to med school or whether it's because you really need to get that grade or whether it's you're resitting or you just wanna pass this year. It's, it's one of those stresses that can really overwhelm us. But I do wanna say that things will always work out Right now it may feel that way and right now is, is very temporary but in the long term it will work out and that's what I try to keep reminding myself. The other day I was on call to one of my good friends and we were talking about it and we said particularly in medical students but also in pretty much any student out there that's studying really for exams we can kind of get into like this toxic mindset of I, I only deserve to have a break if I've done a, B, C, D, E, F, G, you know, the list goes on. And that can be really detrimental because it's almost kind of saying, like, I am sacrificing myself mentally to do this thing so I can get that grade, so I can do this, this and this. And, you know, sometimes we need that. Sometimes it's really important, especially if we've got an exam that, you know, it, it's kind of one of those things where it's like, I really, really want to pass now. And of course, lots of us, like probably 90% of us want that, but, I think it's also really important to say to yourself that actually it's okay to take a break. It's not only deserve a break if I've done this many hours of work or these topics or that topic. And we were talking about how, you know, I've been, I've been home a lot this year because I really want to spend as much time as I can with my family. They're the most important people to me, my family and my friends back at home. Um, and part of me felt guilty and I, I, I have this a lot where I feel guilty for spending time with my family and it gets to you because you should really never ever ever feel that way you should be able to spend time with your family without having to feel guilty or you know whenever you feel like you're not doing work you should never feel that way and I don't know I just thought I'd share that that's how I've been feeling a lot and open up about that because if there's any of you out there who also feel the same extent to how I'm feeling, or I'm sure lots of other people out there are feeling, please know that nothing justifies spending time with your family or whoever you like spending time with. Nothing justifies you taking breaks and you doing things to better your mental health. Because at the end of the day, the reason we're all here today is so that we can live healthier, fulfilling lives and things get in the way you know exams get in the way of that you get barriers in the way and some things in your life can just pop up and take that away from you at times sometimes you know it's coming like exams 
Sometimes it can be something that you would never prepared for. And it's tough, it's really tough. But yeah, I just thought I'd come on and say this because exam season is approaching. Um, our exams start like mid-May, so yeah, I'm not gonna be posting probably between now and then. But nevertheless, I wanted to come on here and say that YouTube is something that I'm still, you know, I, I really enjoy making these videos. I'm still kind of exploring the kind of content I wanna make. Cause again, I really like to help people out there go through what I've been through. So whether that's preparing for, you know, interviews, the UCAT, the personal statement, you know, all that I've made content on. But also, as I mentioned in this video of I've been thinking, I might make videos on like teaching future med students or med students um, because I find it helpful not only for me to learn, but also I love teaching others and, you know, there's that whole spiel I talk about in that video. So, yeah, I'm kind of exploring at this stage. I was actually very surprised when I went on my account recently because I just realised I'm past 300 subscribers, which is pretty cool. Pretty cool because I wasn't expecting. I mean, that's not even that many people, but, you know, if you've subscribed, thank you and I hope you're enjoying my content. Apologies for the inconsistency, but I am, I'm, I'm planning to get back to it. As you guys probably are aware, the stress is approaching. <laughs> well, the stress has always been there. Um, <laughs> let's, just, let's just pray that this year goes well. I wish you guys all the best as well. I think lots of us, lots of things can play in your mind. And I think the biggest fear that we all have is what if I fail? What if this doesn't work out? What if this doesn't go to plan? What if I have to reset the year? What if I have to reset these exams? What if I fail those exams? What if I get kicked out of med school? You know, there's all these things that really play in your mind. But as I said, try and remember that this is a temporary thing and it's going to work out. I'm trying to adapt like that long-term thinking. Another mindset I have, which might be quite controversial is I'm willing to reset exams if it means that I can still spend more time at home with my family, with my friends and all the things that matter to me most. Because again, this might be quite controversial, but when you tell yourself that that's not going to last forever, but medicine, a degree or whatever you're studying for, an essay or whatever, you have opportunities to redo that. You have opportunities to reset the year, to reset exams. But you don't have that opportunity. You can't buy time. You can't reset time with your family, with your friends. I, I keep saying family and friends because that's what matters to me most. But whatever it is that matters to you most, whether that's you know going for a walk in the park because you're just so overwhelmed, playing the guitar, that's another one of mine. Um, just spending time for yourself, reading a book. Um, you shouldn't have to do these activities without feeling guilty and it, it's just something that was playing on my mind. I thought I'd share it because I'm sure lots of you are also experiencing it if you're going through exam season and just exam stress generally. But yeah, um, just a bit of food for thought. I hope you guys are doing all right. All the best for exams if you've got them, if they're coming up for you. And yeah, sorry for this pretty poor quality video but hopefully what I what I said in this video has been useful to someone out there yeah that's pretty much all I wanted to say best of luck for exams best of luck for your MMI interviews your panel interviews whichever you guys are amazing I truly am incredibly inspired by some of you your stories because um, I've met some of you and yeah when we practiced there, there were times where I was blown away um, but yeah thank you thank you for reaching out I hope I helped and yeah I wish you all the best until my next video, whenever that will be, <laughs> it will probably be around summertime. Take care, stay safe, and I'll see you then. Peace.